Oh, yes. Jackson, you know what's here? Yes. So I got the R888s, the TL1s or T1Rs, whatever. 100 tread wear, 280 tread wear. That should be plenty for the front. I'm not looking to track my car. But my dude over at Elemental Wheels has been so awesome in getting me wheels. Oh, yes. I haven't even seen what these wheels look like, so this is my first time seeing them too. They uh, had to kind of specially make them for this car, from what I understand. That's why it took so long to do the wheels, is because they had to do a uh, like a custom design on them. Oh, fuck, yes. Dude. Oh. oh my god. You know what? Holy shit. Shit. These are the fronts. These are 19 by 10s for the front. Oh. These are the custom flow forged by MRRs. Holy crap, this is just immaculate. Wow. Dude. And the rears are 20 by 12s. So this should be able to handle the uh, 315s no problem. Honestly, these wheels are wide enough for 335s, probably even 345s because they're 20 by 12s. Just fucking ah! Oh. It's a brushed aluminum finish. The camera actually makes it look a little bit more gold. Like a more yellow. Dude, this is gonna look crazy. Now the issue is how's I'm gonna get them to there. I might be able to fit the wheels and tires in the Corvette, no problem, but we'll have to see. See, now I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get both these and the tires in the vet at the same time. If I can get the R888s and the wheels in, I should be able to fit the NT01s up front. Not necessarily the happy with the decision, I've had to make and how I'm getting the wheels there. Probably not. <laughs> this is totally probably not okay. But whatever. I've got the two 12s here. And I've got one uh, 19 here. And I'll have to make another trip. My buddy over at Element Wheels has also warned me about running our triple eights on the C7s. Saying that they sometimes rub. They put a lot of work into making sure that the wheels and tires fit. But... The um, C7s also come with a really high ride ride if you don't lower them. I'm thinking that there's really not much of a difference between the uh, the regulars and the r 8 so I should probably be okay, but I guess we'll have to see. I was actually kind of worried about having the back one to open, but it sounds so fucking good I might just leave it like that. smell an awful lot like exhaust fumes. I might just have to roll down the windows, get it all out. All right, so trip number one is made. Heading back to the house now to uh, make trip number two. All right, our triple eights are loaded. Dropping her off. I was gonna stay and record, but they're hella busy today. I don't feel like sitting around for five hours. So since we're working on my car, I figured I'd stop by Wild Motorcycle Sports and look what they have. Oh yeah. Man, they clean this thing up real nice too. My buddy Vinny's probably gonna end up being it. A couple other CBR 1Ks up here though too. Oh, he must have sold a Busa. This is gonna be one of the first bikes that I ride with these guys is this, this Zero SR. This thing apparently is just like stupid quick. Like instant torque quick. Pro Chrome! Dude, fuck. I gotta say, I was really worried about bringing it to a shop that was called Butler Tire, but man, these guys took care of me like it was nothing. And oh my fuck. Ugh, that stance. Fuck. It's not bad. It's still got a good bit of room. I don't think, I don't think it's gonna rub. It's got a lot of room. Didn't have to remove the brake coolers either. Ah. Man, the video makes it look really gold. Holy shit, it looks so... 
You, you guys don't know, it looks so much better in person than you guys can ever imagine. Oh my god, dude. I just can't even right now. I don't know why, on the phone, and I think even on this camera, the wheels almost come out more of a gold, like more of a, a yellowy gold than in person. This is a, um, I'm telling you, like in person, it's more of a, like a, a bronzy gold. It, it looks different than it does on camera, but god damn. More than enough clearance. A lot of people are saying lower it, and um, yes and no. So, factory, you can lower these things by probably close to an inch with these lowering bolts that are already built into the, they, they do it for shipping purposes and this one is still uh, shipping height. Uh, the reason I haven't lowered it yet is because of those rear wheels. I want to make sure that they clear it first. Um, I can probably drop the front a little bit, the rear not so much. I, I kind of want to keep the rear the way it is so it'll kind of have that more of like angled look. God, that is delicious. I feel like those are triplets. They almost look narrow on the back of this car. I mean, they, they still look wide, but the R888s, they're in 315. They don't make them in a uh, 325 or a 335 or even a 345 for 20 inch wheels. These are 20s in the back, 19s up front, staggered MRR wheels. This is, I think, the first Corvette to get these. And I know it's the first Corvette to get this color. Uh, they usually make these particular wheels for the Lamborghinis, but uh, they kind of like had to kind of custom make it for these this car. If you want to get wheels fulfilled, go through elementwheels.com. Link for them is in the description. They do all my wheels. I know the owner at this point pretty well. He's a really cool guy. And every his, the customer service is unmatched. I might be able to drop the rear just a little bit. I mean, I don't want it to rub though. That's my main concern. You can't roll out fenders on a Corvette because it's fiberglass. It does protrude a little bit in the rear too as well. Right now I'm on long tube headers only, just some random cheap Chinese brand that they sent me to do a video on. Uh, they went out of business almost instantly afterwards. Then I've got the Army Tricks. Right now it's just axle back. The uh, X pipe didn't show up and it's not on yet, so it will get a little bit more loud. After I do the supercharger, it will be louder. By the way, that's coming February 3rd, I don't know if I've mentioned that. It'll be easy oh, for me to- restart vlog. Yeah. <laughs> say, say what you were saying again, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna do this. Oh, I think you should get a Mac. No, 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 never mind, I'm sorry, I'll restart. Like, you're the worst you're actor I've ever heard. <laughs> Re-record, restart. Continue, I can cut it, I have the power of editing. I have iMovie, you're not no. gonna cut it. You're right, I'm not. I know you're not. <laughs> he has iMovie, he can edit it. Alright, action. <laughs> so Infectious thinks that this car wouldn't look good with a mat. He doesn't think it'd look good with a mat. I'm, I'm saying, saying semi-gloss. Semi God. It needs, some, it needs something kind semi -gloss, of gloss. Semi-gloss, white diamond. Because otherwise yeah. the gloss is going to stick out too much and there's going to be like the focal point of the car and that's not going to be good. Enough. He's, he does have a good point. Oh yeah, black. The mirror, the mirrors will be black, the roof's black, and the whole ass is going to be black and with the wrap. And the spoiler, keep the spoiler black too. Well, yeah, of course. We're not going APR. That's I'm going APR spoiler. Yeah, the whole, the whole, the whole back. The yeah, the whole, the whole back is going to be black. That's going to look mint. Yeah, it's going to match the roof. And this line right here, all the way around the hood is gonna yeah, be matte black. Like, it's gonna be like ACW, and then a custom wrap. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna look similar. So, you actually buy a key for this car? I think so, dude. This is yeah. this is it. How would we made him turn into Mary? Well, no, you bought the warranty, so. It's voided. Oh, the back you wanted? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. I'll just pull off the blower if it blows up. <laughs> what is that? That's not a spare alternator. Are you gonna put any kind of kit on this or no? He's gonna go yeah, side skirts. Side skirts. Oh, okay, I was wondering because I think this would look pretty good. And we're gonna yeah. go ZF6 rear fenders too. Get rid of the hood and put a carbon fiber on there. Yeah. I'm thinking ZF6 hood. The only difference is, is that's a little bit taller and wider. You need a cowl anyway, you're gonna have a blower. No, it'll fit. <laughs> 